Hi, my name is Andrew Uhas, and I am the author of eneeded.com and the eneeded uh, YouTube channel. You can also tweet me at my eneeded Twitter account. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to customize your WordPress theme. And if you've never customized your theme, this is the first time you've seen this dashboard and you are completely lost, well, don't worry. It's very simple. Um, you want to go ahead and start and you hover or click on appearance and when you hover on it it'll show you several options you'll have the themes which is going to give you a chance to change the theme or customize a theme if you already have a theme that's installed uh, widgets will change the sidebars for your site most commonly uh, menus will allow you to change or customize your navigation the header will allow you to change any customization that's available for either the current theme or uh, whether it's text or whether it's a logo that you have across your header. Background allowing you to change any color options, uh, image options that exist for the background for your particular theme. And also the editor, which is more of the advanced uh, options. Um, I'm going to go briefly through each of these just so you get a, an overview. And then I would encourage you to check out some of my other videos in the future that I'll be posting. Uh, more in-depth uh, on each of these particular uh, customizations for WordPress appearance. And so first of all, let's go ahead and click on themes. <coughs> and once you get to themes, it's going to by default be uh, whatever year. Usually they have 2011, 2012 um, as a theme. So they come out with a new theme every year for the free theme. As you can see, the 2011 theme is here. So for 2012, um, this is the current theme. If you want to get a new theme, go ahead and click on Install Themes. And if you're not familiar with buying themes, a premium theme, um, you can go ahead and use the free themes available. And <coughs> many of the themes are very easy to find in terms of what type of theme you're looking for. Uh, a good place to start would be Featured. And if you're going for more of the informational uh, website or you're creating a simple blog, you can kind of choose the layout you're looking for. So there's a wide variety usually that you'll see on the featured ones. Um, say you're going to create a site that's more generic, a Craigslist looking site that's more HTML based would be this toolbox option. And then <coughs> say you want to search for a particular color you can say okay hey I want uh, all the themes that are green and you can just search for it that way and now this will kind of give you uh, themes that would fit into a green category and then now say you like this something fishy thing so what do you got to do so it's pretty simple it says install now you can also preview it if you kind of want a bigger vision of what this is going to look like on your site. Um, and then if you are indeed ready to go ahead and install it, just click install. <coughs> then it'll come to a page like this that says it's installing the theme. Um, you can either click live preview, um, return back to the theme installer if you change your mind. Or if you're just ready to go ahead and get this theme going, click Activate. And now your theme is live. So when you click back on your website, you will see the E needed. And this one even uh, changes the, the font of the, uh, the name of your blog or website. And also adds the slogan uh, to the tab. So this is a pretty nice theme uh, for a starter theme. Now if you click back on the on your name of your blog, it'll take you back to the dashboard. And then, so that's kind of a brief overview of themes. Now let's go ahead and look at widgets. Now widgets are going to be uh, mostly sidebars, footer bars. Um, so let's go ahead and add one footer and one sidebar option. So let's keep the search in the sidebar, but add recent post to the footer bar <coughs> and then you can if you make any changes like uh, 
uh, top five posts. Even though this is just recent posts, you can just call it the top five posts. Uh, you can click display post date even if you'd like. Um, then you just click save. Now, once you go back to your blog, you'll see that your categories and your search are on the right hand side as you had specified. And then if you scroll down to the bottom, here are your top five posts with the dates included. And now let's go back at the dashboard again. <coughs> Apologize, I have a cold, but the show must go on. And under menus, let's go ahead and go to menus. And you'll come to a page that has a couple of options here as I've uh, selected my top menu option already and it's automatically checked so it shows in all the top level pages. Um, you just want to also go into primary and make sure you select top and save. And the eNeeded site is a very brand new site so uh, you, there's not a lot of information on it yet so just as a, an example one of my categories is called WordPress so and I say that already here so when you go back and you look at the site it, it may be different now but on the top bar here it's it's WordPress and if you were to click on WordPress then it's going to take you to all the the, po the excuse me the posts that are within that particular uh, category now let's go back here to uh, <coughs> and excuse me I just realized this but I I'm so used to doing it the other way. If you hover over your blog name, you can actually go right to uh, the different tools. And if you notice, this particular thing has customizability. Um, so if you were to go into that customize option, now you can see that there is a couple of customized options. Uh, if you want to have your, say, a static page instead of a post display on the front page, you could do so. So. Let's go back to uh, the appearance of our site <coughs> and say we want to manipulate the header. So this is what the header looks like currently, um, but if you wanted to upload an image from your computer, you could do so here. Just make sure it fits within the parameters of the pixels that it's uh, specified here. So it's a 1000 pixels wide by 250 pixels high. And then uh, if you, you can also select whether you'd like to show the header of the text with your image or not. And then this one looks like it appears that it has uh, the color options that you can change. So say you wanted to have a, a red color or something like that, you could select that, uh, save changes, and then it would change the text color to be red. Uh, so to kind of give you an idea of what that would look like here, so which doesn't look too bad with the, with the blue layout and then uh, one more <coughs> option here to take a look at under appearance is editor and you'll get to a very crazy uh, amount of code if you don't know what this is don't worry this is not something you need to know necessarily unless you plan on customizing your website uh, PHP CSS HTML all those things which I have a little bit of knowledge of PHP but in terms of moving things HTML and CSS those things are fairly easy to learn over time but again if you want to go into something like your header file and you find that you have a, a particular uh, line of code that is showing something on your website and you wanted to remove it that's where you would come in here and, and just simply delete that line of text uh, from your website. But again, be very careful with this particular thing. If you're not familiar with it, you will mess up your WordPress blog. And I have had a lot of friends that have started WordPress blogs. They have dele deleted a simple line of code. And when I went back in to try and fix it, it completely destroyed the site. So it's a very delicate thing. Um, but if you like, this is a great way to come in and then if you want to change colors within the site um, depending on what theme you have will really depend on what kind of CSS file uh, has been put together by the designer of that particular theme so 
for example, if you come in here and you look at the, uh, the particular body of this, we'll, we'll show you where the, uh, the global commands are for a particular uh, line of code that will then go back and display on the site. So if you kind of scroll through and you look at the, uh, the way things are set up here, it shows you things like the font family which is inherit right now and if you wanted to come in here and you know change everything to uh, you know Arial then you could just update the file like that and then go back to your site you might need to refresh it once but you you'll see that the <coughs> that the font now is an Arial format and that the all the sizing is still yet to be changed so if you're not really happy with how small the font is you just need to find out what the the ul tag is for this particular list and go in and change the the font size maybe it's set at like an 8 uh, and you want to change it to a 10 or a 12 and you can go back in and do that fairly easy so again this is how to design your wordpress blog thank you